What's up everyone, it's your boy Vincent aka Fresh Out of the Box and welcome to an unboxing video. First of all, thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. If you see your cartoon icon of myself, just click on that to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, uh, today's unboxing will be about this awesome new things in front of me which is the brand new LEGO Minifigures Marvel Studios Series 2. And these got released on September 1st at uh, lego.com and LEGO stores everywhere here in the US. And uh, I decided to buy the uh, the six pack box set, and this these come with the uh, six minifigures, as you can see there. So six times, and there's a total of twelve minifigures in this set. And uh, I decided to buy the box set because I wanted to get different minifigures instead of just buying the individual uh, packaging ones. So um, I think uh, that's uh, for me. I feel like it will give me. Uh, I hope it's a different minifig in each box, so uh, I, I just can't wait to check these out. Alright guys, so here is the new packaging for the LEGO minifigures and I believe from now on all the minifig minifigures that will be released in the future are gonna be in this type of packaging. So let's check it out. It's pretty much cardboard and it looks like uh, printer ink packaging. <laughs> so that's what it is. So mixed packaging right there it says and uh, there's really no way you can tell what's inside. You know. Um, it's pretty much sealed and uh, I think the time of the era of feeling out the minifigures are done. Uh, they strayed away from the plastic packaging. So I won't be at uh, Lego, the Lego store or Target or Walmart uh, trying to uh, figure out which minifig I have by just by, by touching it, uh, by feeling it out on the plastic packaging. So um, this is a pretty much marketing strategy from Lego and uh, you're going to end up buying more minifigures or you're just going to have to buy it from the secondary market for hopefully a re uh, cheaper price or same price but of course you have to pay for shipping and uh, that's how, how uh, everything is going to be from now on. <laughs> Alright so let's go ahead and open our first minifigure. Uh, you might be wondering how do you open this. Um, you can probably just Tear it from the top here or in the sides, and I usually uh, open mine on the side right here. So th these are glued. So I don't know if you really care about the packaging, but if you want to be careful a bit, you can use a cutter, you know. But this uh, this cardboard is glued, so it's pretty much easy to open. So you just like slide your fingers right through there, and there it is. So and let's see who we got first. Boom. All right, and I believe we have uh, Mr. Knight. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's. I think this is his. Or this Moon Knight. This is his cape. So, let's assemble him pretty quick. Uh, let's take out the cape first. Boom. All right. Nice. This is the cape packaging. Okay. Hello. I'll fix the cape later. I'll just put this on. <laughs> Oops. Oh, here's the mask one. I had him turn around.
Uh. All right, there you go. Boom. Feet, and he comes with the. Uh, he's uh, I forgot what these were called. They're like. Moon, uh, moon batarang rangs or moon, uh, moon shaped boomerangs. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I forgot they're called. But they come with that. So he comes with two and these. I forgot what these were called. So those are accessories and it comes with this. I think you attach it to his feet. So and I believe you just attach it somewhere. Yeah, here. Or was it for, is that how they use it? I don't know, I, I don't remember, but yeah. But that's uh, Moon Knight for you. All right, next up, who do we have? We have, I believe, Kate Bishop. Let's check it out. Oh, I uh, forgot. And you attach the arrow first, yeah, it comes with the the this part and then attach the legs and then let's attach her. Oh, there you go then put it in the here and then she has her dog right here <laughs> check it out oh and then she comes with a pizza box Pizza box, and she comes with her bow and arrow. You can just attach it there, and uh, yeah. All right. Next up, we have Echo. I believe this is Echo, correct? Yeah. All right. Let's assemble her. Boom. And uh, Echo appears in uh, the Hawkeye show. So she comes with these two sticks. Yep. Let's see there. Attach one. Uh, what is this for? Oh, maybe do I attach it on here? Let me see that. Yeah, actually, you you assemble these two things. You attach it to each other, and then you attach it to the sticks right here, to her batons. Boom. So this is just an extra one. So this is Echo. All right. So who we do we have next? Ooh. Oh yeah, it's Hawkeye. Check that out, man. <laughs> Attach the, you know, pack, uh, arrow, uh, I forgot what it's called, arrow container. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, there you go. Oops. So, attach that. Boom. And uh, there he is, Hawkeye. Oh, that's cool. And he has a... Uh, he has an owl. All right, that's cool. <laughs> and let's attach his bow and arrow. Oh, there you go. Bam. That's pretty cool. All right, this is minifig number five. Let's check out what we got. Ooh, hoo -hoo, Mr. Knight. I got Mr. Knight. Oh, there's a clear. I look at the aquarium <laughs> or a fishbowl. I think it's supposed to be aquarium, right? I don't remember anymore. It's been a while since I last saw the show. Yeah. Put him in. There's his head. Check out that detail. Nice. I like that suit. <laughs> and it comes with his fighting sticks or batons, I don't, know, I don't know what you want to call it. Boom. Or, yeah, there it is. 
check it out mr knight all right and our six minifig in the box let's check it out it is she hulk she hulk yeah <laughs> so that's so boom jennifer walters so i think uh they should have made a bigger minifig uh rather than just keeping her a regular size minifig <laughs> and she comes with uh what is this a file you know prisoner file uh folder and you have uh a bomb right there or abomination emil blonsky yeah nice and then you have a cell phone <laughs> and it says wong <laughs> wong's calling her <laughs> nice and check out the detail on this minifig this looks awesome look at that very nice detail on the suit even the side nice look at that pretty cool detail so, whoop. Yeah. So. all right so just a recap on the first box that we opened up and uh, we got mr knight we got moon knight kate bishop hawkeye uh, Echo and She-Hulk. So that's a pretty cool set, you know, and uh, this is one of the reasons I decided to get the six pack. So hopefully I don't get doubles on the second pack, uh, second box I'm about to open. Okay, so this is the first uh, minifig of the second box that I'm about to open. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. Check it out. Oh, no, I got Mr. Knight again. Oh, man. There it is. Mr. Knight again. So... Man, this is not looking good already. All right, so uh, it seems like uh, the second box that I opened uh, was a duplicate, uh, had duplicate minifigures in it. So the first one I opened was Mr. Knight, and then the second minifigure that I opened was Moon Knight. So I have a feeling that the rest are duplicates from the first box that I opened. So this is the third box, and I'm going to check it out, and if it's uh another duplicate box and then i'm gonna have to like either return it or exchange it at the lego store <laughs> all right so this is the first one i opened from the third box so let's see if it's another duplicate uh uh minifigure <laughs> i didn't want to look at it but i opened it already but i didn't want to look at it so let's see what we have and we have ah hawkeye so it's another duplicate box and uh, that kind of sucks so I'm going to check out another minifig. All right, so I decided to open another minifig from the third box. And uh, hopefully it's not a duplicate. So if it is, then uh, that's how it is. <laughs> but uh, let's check it out. And oh, it's another Mr. Knight. <laughs> and it seems like all three boxes contain the same minifigures. So I ordered all these at uh, once from, uh, Lego, from the Lego store. So it looks like uh, if you're going to buy a, a six pack uh, box from uh, Lego, make sure you just buy it individually or just buy one box at a time because they're going to send you all uh, multiple boxes with the same minifigures. Or you can just have to buy it separately um, from uh, Lego.com or from the Lego store. So just to make sure that you have different minifigures, but uh, that's how it is. And that's the that's what sucks about these uh, new packaging that you can't tell which if these all mean if all these are like the same in each pack. So overall, man, I'm slightly disappointed that I got duplicates from all these boxes that I got from Lego. Uh, dot com. So uh, just a heads up: if you're gonna buy the six pack boxes, uh, make sure to just buy it uh, one at a time and. Uh, uh, buy the rest individually, you know, because you are if you buy like uh, like what I did, two or three boxes, and they're gonna it's gonna be the same minifigures in the same in in the in these boxes. So and uh, it's just you're just gonna get duplicates. So it's the same thing what they did with uh, Disney 100 uh, minifigures. They sold these uh, square uh, boxes that contain six or eight minifigures, I believe, and I bought like two or three to get to complete the whole set and I got multiples and said our duplicates so I uh, I returned them at the Lego store 
And uh, at that time, they used, still use the old uh, packaging with the old wrappers. So I was able to fill out the rest of those minifigs and I didn't need to open it. But with the new packaging, with all these boxes, uh, you you have no choice but to open open the the boxes, and uh, that's the only way you can find out uh, which minifigures you got. Or you can weigh them. Um, try and that's the way, best way to uh, know which minifigures in it, because each minifigure has a different accessory, which uh, which affects the weight of the the box. So you might have to bring a scale. <laughs> that's what everybody's been suggesting. You were gonna end up bringing a scale at the store. At the, or at the Lego store and uh, just uh, weigh the minifigures and you probably get what you need for uh, uh, to complete your set. But I'm not uh, completely disappointed because I still got a good set of minifigures here. I have uh, Mr. Knight, of course. Check that out, man. And this is one of my favorites from all the minifigures that I got from this set. And I have Moon Knight. Check that out, man. Boom. So here he is holding his scarab. I really like the gold paint also on his uh, costume right there. So they, they did, really did a good job on this minifigure. Check that out. Pretty cool. So much detail. Um, not disappointed in that. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to complete your uh, Marvel Studios minifig collection. You know, um, I'm going to end up uh, probably going to the secondary market or I'll just go to my local Lego store and return these and exchange them. Or, yeah, uh, I have no choice. I, I might, I might as well, I'm probably gonna be selling them or trading them uh, with other uh, collectors. So, yeah, um, hopefully you guys are, are able to complete this set and uh, it's a great addition to your uh, Marvel Studios minifigure collection. And that was my unboxing of the Lego Marvel Studios Series 2 minifigures uh, box set of six. And uh, if you want to purchase the box set right now, it's available at Lego, uh, lego.com. And uh, I don't think they sell the box sets at the Lego physical stores. So you might have to just uh, uh, buy the individual package ones uh, like this one uh, at the store. Or you can go to Target, Walmart, you know, um, maybe Amazon also have them, have them now. So... Hopefully you'll be able to complete your set and uh, you know, just uh, I know it's going to be hard knowing what you're going to get uh, unless you weigh each one. You go to the store and get a, have, bring a scale with you and weigh each individual minifigure. I don't know who's done it yet. Maybe someone, some person has gone to the store and brought a scale and weighed each one. But uh, for me, um, that's too much for, for a lot of work, like just bringing a scale and weighing each one. You know uh at the store so i prefer the just feeling it out the old-fashioned way <laughs> to be honest with you guys but anyway hopefully you guys will be able to complete your uh, set of 12 and uh you know um just uh, just uh, this is just a great addition to your uh, lego minifigure collection so i want to thank you guys for tuning in once again i really appreciate the support and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video.